Hey everybody, Champ here again. Um, back for some more Minecraft. Uh, not a whole lot's changed. Uh, like I said, I want to do most of my building on camera. So, guess what we're going to be doing today? Building. Yes. Uh, not too much has changed out here. Got some chickens going. Finally got another cow in. Uh, broke down my watermelon plants and put some potatoes in instead. I saw somebody on a video eat a baked potato and it gave him like a lot of health. So I think I'm going to move off these watermelons which give you uh, not a whole lot of, uh, doesn't they don't replenish a whole lot of hunger. Uh, so I'm going to move from uh, watermelons to potatoes and bread and eventually chickens and cow and hopefully someday soon gonna get some pigs going too so um, like I said today I want to do a little more building um, not so much building out but expanding upon drink. Um, again, can't count and talk. Yeah, that should be plenty of letters there. More letters than I'll ever use. Um, so what's What's new? What's new? This little thing keeps popping up and I can't figure out how to turn it off. Um, yesterday was the Super Bowl. Uh, and by the time I get this video uploaded, it's probably going to be baseball season. But, um, yeah. Uh, I guess some people are now calling it the Blackout Bowl. Very funny. Uh, I was at a bar with, uh, with my parents, my uncle, and it was kind of crowded. Uh, a lot of noise going on. I didn't really know what was happening because I couldn't I couldn't hear the commentators. I just saw the camera panning up, looking at the ceiling, and none of the lights were on. I didn't really know what that was all about until a few minutes later. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's the, that's the, uh, two, three, four, six, three, I, I mean, that's not the whole, that's not the big story out of the Super Bowl. Of course, uh, the Ravens won, and, um... I wasn't too invested in this uh, Super Bowl. One, two, three, four, five. Always double check your work. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one more this way. Yeah, I wasn't too invested in this Super Bowl. Um, I'm a Falcons fan. Uh, of course, the 49ers beat the Falcons to earn, to earn their way to the Super Bowl. So, uh, on the one hand, I was kind of rooting for them because uh, if they had won, that would be the third year in a row that the... Uh, team to knock the Falcons out of the playoffs went on to win the Super Bowl. Of course, uh, last year they lost to the Giants and the Giants went on to win the Super Bowl. And the year before that they lost to the Packers and the Packers went on to win the Super Bowl. So in a way I was kind of rooting for them as a way of saying, you know, 
if your team loses, at least they lose to the team who wins it all. Uh, uh, yeah, it kind of takes the sting out of the loss if you know that your team lost to the the ones who were going to win it all. Uh, same thing with jeez, uh, who who won the World Series last year? Was it the Cardinals? I think it was. I could be completely wrong. I have a terrible memory. Uh, but I think the St. Louis Cardinals won last year. Uh, before I get any, start any uh, starting any of you raging in the comments, I'm gonna check that real quick. Yeah, I was way off. It was. Uh, San Francisco won the World Series last year, uh, but uh, I'm also a big fan of the Atlanta Braves, and they lost to um, the St. Louis Cardinals in the uh, one-game wild wild card playoff that they just started this past season. And of course. Before the game, I was all for the wild card playoff because uh, the Atlanta Braves had the first, the first seed, the first wild card seed, and uh, St. Louis Cardinals having the second best record of a. Uh, oops. Non uh, of a team that didn't uh, win their division. Yeah, they were the second place wild card team. So uh, the Braves and the Cardinals had a one game playoff, and uh, I just realized that's not going to work how I had planned it. Uh, I'll build around it. Uh, yeah, and there was a uh, flubbed call by the umpires. I didn't get to watch the game. I was at work. I can't remember what the call was. I think somebody was called out when they were safe or something along those lines. And, uh, you know, at this point, what can you do but wonder what if? What, what if something different happened? I think the Braves manager, uh, Freddy Gonzalez, took it pretty well uh, when asked about uh, the uh, screwed up call. He said, look, we, were, we, were, we weren't we were winning. Uh, we weren't playing all that well in the game, and it doesn't really matter what that singular call was. Uh, I thought that was pretty admirable of him to kind of own up to uh, not winning the game. Uh, admirable, admirable of him to not say, well, if this has happened and this had happened and blah, blah, blah. And just said, look, we, we lost the game. That's all there is to it. Uh, was kind of a, a letdown. Um, for me, I've been a Braves fan for a long time now, uh, and uh, this past season was uh, Chipper Jones, the uh, Braves veteran player, uh, started off as an outfielder, moved on to third base, awesome guy, awesome, awesome baseball player. It was his last season, and I was kind of hoping that... Uh, He'd get another World World Series win, but what can you do? Uh, just keep your eye focused on the future. Uh, <coughs> and yeah, uh, same thing with the Falcons, man. Uh, I. Uh, 
been a Falcons fan for a while now, and uh, I need another shovel. And, uh, you know, we've had a lot of disappointing seasons, but this one was great. It was a great season for them. And shame they didn't win it all, but uh, it seems to me every year they get better and better. So, I had the, I believe they had the best record in the league this season. I, again, could be completely wrong on that. I've been wrong before, like a few minutes ago. But, uh, every year they seem to get better and better. So, who knows what, se what uh, next season holds for them. I've never been to a Falcons game. I would love to go, but like the cheap seats at a football game started about eighty bucks, eighty-five dollars, something like that. Uh, and that's the cheap seats. Might be a little hard for me to swing that. Uh, also, I think that's kind of ridiculous. I think that's a little bit overpriced. Um, I have been to two Braves games, uh, one at the old uh, Fulton County Stadium when I was a little kid. I didn't know anything about sports when I was a kid. It was just something my parents wanted to do, and I liked it because uh, uh, the hot dogs were fantastic. I don't know what it was about those hot dogs, but they, man, they were great. I must have had like four of them that day. Uh, don't remember a whole lot about it other than it was a daytime game. They were playing the Pittsburgh Pirates, and they won. That's all I can really remember. Uh, hmm. Now that I started this, I don't know how I want to do it. I have one plan, one one thing I want to do. I guess I'll go ahead and start on that now. Uh, second time I went to a Braves game was... I want to say it was about nine years ago now to uh, the new Turner Field. Uh, me and some of my... Uh, this is not working out how I'd hoped it would. I mean, a couple of my college buddies just had a day off and just decided we'd head up to Atlanta. This is not working out at all like I would planned. Crap. Yeah, we just decided we we're going to head up to Atlanta and uh, catch a game. And, uh, that didn't go so well. Uh, the Braves ended up losing, uh, I didn't plan this too well. I just kind of had an idea and ran with it. Uh, we went up to Atlanta. It's about two and a half hour drive away. Uh, got there. It was raining when we got there, the game got delayed by like an hour, um, but we, uh, that's not what I wanted to do, uh, a lot of these, or was it what I wanted to do, that's fine, a lot of these um, modern parks are pretty cool, if, even if the game gets delayed, they have a lot of stuff to do, so we just ended up walking around Turner Field for for a while until the game got started. Uh, Braves ended up losing that game. I think the final score, they were playing uh, San Diego Padres. They ended up losing that game, I think it was like 14-4. to It was bad. 
they they got stomped. Me and my buddies left before the game was even over with. Yeah, so uh, Braves got beat pretty badly. I don't know what it is about the uh, I'm doing it again. Hold on. About the Padres, Braves just seem to have bad luck when it comes to playing the Padres. Uh, and maybe that's just something I noticed after that game. I don't know. Uh, so we left. Uh, we're driving back through Georgia. Uh, I think I mentioned in the past I live in South Carolina. So we're heading back to South Carolina. Uh, at the time, I was driving my my grandfather's old car. It was an uh, 89 LeSable, or an 89 Sabre. I can't remember which. It was a piece of... Shut up, phone. It was a piece of shit car. I hated that car, but due to money and whatnot, I was kind of stuck with it. <clears throat> uh, I had a headlight out. Uh, I knew about it beforehand. It was just, like I said, going to the game was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Didn't really worry about the headlight. Uh, and, the, and then also, I hated that flipping car, so I wasn't will wasn't willing to spend too much money on it. Even though it was my grandfather's, and he had just passed away recently. You know, I love my grandfather. I think about him all the time. But uh, that car, <laughs> that car sucked. So we're driving down, um, driving down the interstate somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Georgia, and we get pulled over. Which I immediately kind of freaked out about that because uh, I admit I had been drinking at the game. Um, I wasn't like hammered or anything like that. I I had a few beers when we got there, and then didn't drink after that. So a couple of hours had passed. Uh, but I definitely still had alcohol in my system, and I know I know that's that's wrong. Shouldn't uh, drink and drive, but <laughs> my buddies refused to drive to Atlanta or from it, because us going to a Braves game was my idea. So I was the one that had to drive. Um. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'll probably tear it all down later, but whatever. So I get pulled over. <clears throat> uh, it was two cops in the car, and I guess they were bored. It was a uh, a black cop and a white cop, and uh, they did. You know, one cop pulls me to the side and. Uh, have you been drinking tonight, son? I said, uh, yeah, I had a beer. And the other cops talking to my buddies, and they're like, Did, has he been drinking tonight? And they're like, yeah, he had one, yeah, I think he had one beer. And the cop asked him, are you sure it was just one beer? And my buddies are like, if you ever been to a sports game, uh, you know, beer's a little overpriced. But my buddies are like, yeah, the beers were like six bucks each. I'm sure he only had one. So that was straight up lie. I had, had three. This is yeah, this is a little bit more where I was one. Uh, but it was funny because they were like, I don't know, trying to play good cop bad cop with us. One of the cops was just being a complete douche. 
and the other cop was just the black cop was just being so friendly and respectful. I don't I don't know what TV shows these guys have been watching or how bored they were that night, but it was it was pretty obvious. Uh, I was taking my buddies home. They live in a different town than where I live at, and uh, we live. I I live in the suburb of a larger larger city. So the cops asked us where we were going, and I just rather than having to explain exactly which city I live in, I just said we're going to the larger city. I think even at that point we had planned to go to the big to the, the bigger city just because we felt like drinking some more. Okay, then the the uh, the bad cop sees on my ID I'm not from that city. He's like, oh, you said you were going to this city. Why? Are you, uh, you know, it says here you live in that city. I'm like, yeah, I live in that city. I'm not going to it right now. So, uh, they let me off with a warning. So, happy ending to that story, I guess. And then, got back into town, we went to a bar and had a few more drinks, and that was that. <laughs> so, story time over, kids. Uh, I guess I can talk about what I'm doing here. My plan was to build a basement level, but I also knew that there was this cliff kind of back behind my house, so I wanted to build like a balcony sort of thing going off this way, facing off uh, to the uh, the east <laughs> words hard to make uh, I'm not sure I might I think I might actually just clear all this out again I should have done a little more planning before I started this Yep, that was all a waste of dirt. Um, yeah, it's going to be a big balcony. Uh, So again, what I think I'm going to do is uh, cut recording and then finish this up, and I will bring you guys back when it's done. Alright, so see you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I built this little balcony here. Um, I'm not sure quite how I feel about it, it just it doesn't look as good as I envisioned it in my mind, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I did have a creeper kind of find his way up here. He was down there, tracked me down up here, went up there, went up there, and then dropped down to here. <laughs> so, uh, this isn't the best design, I guess. But it's still a work in progress. Um, but for now, I, I just uh, kind of have an itch to go uh, mining, maybe some caving, who knows. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, I'm going to cut recording now. Uh, might come back, might not. Uh, if I don't, 
then you, you know the usual. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.